Canoe Diary July 21 The house looked such a mess this morning. The living room floor was covered with gear. Piles of warm clothes, bags of food, pots and pans, you name it. I was packing for a canoe trip in the wild and I didn't want to forget anything. Once you're on the river, there are no shops. Luckily, I'd made a list of all the things I needed and everything was there. But I'm a bit worried. How is it going to fit into my tiny canoe? July 24 Today was the first day of the six-day trip. My supplies did fit into the canoe, thank goodness. It was great to be paddling up the river at last. The water was so clear, I could see right down to the bottom. I watched a th terrapin swim slowly under the canoe. It looked so peaceful and graceful. But things were not peaceful for long. When I looked up, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was a moose just ahead. I never realized a moose could be so big. It was feeding on the river bank and lifted its head to look at me. Then I saw a female moose and her baby. A mother moose is very protective of her baby. So I didn't hang around for long. July 25 Today I saw a tree on the river bank that had been eaten almost in half. I could see the tooth marks and that could mean only one thing. Beavers. I think beavers are amazing animals. Imagine being able to chew through a tree. I looked hard for the beavers, but they were nowhere to be seen. July 26. Today I found a great campsite. It's by a big lake surrounded by trees. After I'd put up the tent, I went looking for firewood. I nearly picked up a toad. It was so still, I thought it was a piece of wood. At first I thought, gross. When I looked closer, I saw that it was really quite a beautiful animal. Before bed, I put all my food into a big bag. I used ropes to haul it up into a tall tree to keep it safe. There are bears around here, and if they smell food, they sometimes help themselves. Bears don't usually mean any harm, but I'd rather not meet one in the wild. July 27 Last night, I had a real fright. I was just falling asleep when I heard heavy footsteps outside the tent. My heart started pounding. Was it a bear? I didn't dare look out of the tent or even move. The footsteps sounded so close. Then they headed off into the night. When I woke up this morning, my food was safe. July 28 The river has become more of a swamp. Swamps are amazing places. I found some strange plants that eat insects. They are called pitcher plants because they have leaves shaped like pitchers. 
I found five ants trapped inside one pitcher. Dragonflies zipped all around me, hunting for sandflies and mosquitoes. The best thing I saw was a baby garter snake. It was lying by the edge of the swamp, staring into the water. All of a sudden, it pulled out a fish and swallowed it whole. July 29. This is my last day. I think I'm going to miss camping out and seeing all these creatures in the wild. I can't wait till my next canoe trip. Maybe next time I'll see those beavers.